Hi guys, welcome back to Beautiful Grand. Today I'm going to give you my, I think, 8th update on my project plan. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I'm just going ahead and show you everything. So let's go. First off, the products that I use up. I haven't showed this shampoo. As you know, I've been trying to use all of my stock up. It's actually still one of the very few shampoo sets cleaning my hair, but it's tested on animals and I don't really like that, so I just want to get rid of it. But um, just for the update later, I don't have the actual bottle that I use here, but I'm doing a good job on it. I, I used one bottle up within one month, or maybe two months, I don't know. And then I used up my, finally, my Nude Magic BB Cream by L'Oreal. Yay, um, this is horrible. I mean, it does cover your pores, but it has a bit of tint too, and um, it's not really cool. I mean, if you apply it, you already have that bit of tint in this product and then you go over with a powder um, it just it's just like a brown patch on your nose or whatever wherever you have pores so I'm very happy this is gone and I will never repurchase this one ever. I use up a body lotion that I put in this is the Tresor Midnight Rose by Lancome um, it's just a sample size you know, that, get, that you get from um, buying perfume um, it was nice uh, I don't really like these perfumed or scented Oil lotions, but I'm happy it's gone. I used up uh, a perfume, and this is my very, very irresistible or very ir irresistible uh, perfume by Givenchy. This is my progress that I had. Uh, last update I was here and then I used it up, so yeah. I mean, I hope it's gone. It's not, it's very floral, and I'm not a fan of floral um, perfumes, which you see later on because I put another perfume in. Um, yeah, no, I wouldn't repurchase this one. And I had the other one which is called Live Irresistible. Just like summery scents that don't involve flowers. Is that weird? But yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy this one. Well. Okay, uh, I used finally my Absolute Nude palette by Catrice. Eyeshadow palette, this is what it looks like. It's completely gone. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a very nice palette, all nude colors from light to dark and I really did enjoy this one. I might repurchase this. I mean, I have still a ton of other palettes to use, but this one was really great and a great travel palette. And yeah, I did really enjoy this. Sad it's gone, but happy too because I could finally use some new eyeshadows. And then last but not least, I used up my L'Oreal Le Blush. I mean, there is a tiny bit left over here, but honestly, I can't deal with this. So this one looks like. Um, I kept the brushes in because you can actually do a very nice contour with it. Um, this is in rosewood and um, it was just so dark and red and I did not really like it so um, it's gone now. So and Then up to my progress. Um, like I said I don't have the shadow and shoulders here but I use it so you might see it maybe not next month but the, the month after. Um, and then I have a perfume. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume also fresh. I love the bottle. The bottle is very cute with the flowers on, the daisies, and it's just, it's cute, but it's a floral scent, and you apply it, and then five minutes later, you don't smell it anymore. Really. That, that is one thing, another thing I hear about perfumes, that you don't smell them. The, the smell, it just won't last. So, um, I just recently started using this, so this is where I was, and this is where I'm at now, so I'm actually going on vacation in July, and I won't, I will not take this with me. No. Mm -mm. I, I want to take something I will like. So uh, let's see how much I can actually use before my next update and then I won't use it and on vacation. So yeah, I just want to use it up as best as I can and then just forget about it for the whole time I'm, I'm on vacation. Then I think I go with my little um, paper here that I wrote. Um, I think the only three, yeah, the only three things on. So I think I start with a brow pencil. This is the Deep Brown Brow Pencil by L'Oreal. This is what it looks like. and. This here is my progress. So um, this is where I started and this one right now. I think it's a nice and steady progress. What do you think? Yeah, um, of course I only counted the um, part without the spool on, so just until here. But um, yeah, I think I'm doing a good job. Then I have the Vivid Divine Astor Lip Color Butter, the matte one. Um, I had some pink products in last month but I figured that pink is not doing a good job on me it looks horrible on me so I just got rid of that and I put something new in so this is the Vivid Divine and this is where I started 
this is where I'm at now. So, um, nice progress, which is actually due to the fact that it was like shaped like lipstick and I just flattened it. But yeah, it's a nice color and I will just use it until it's gone. And along with that, I use my MAC Saw Lip Liner. This is what this one cool looks like. Um, it's just a very beautiful color. This is what the color is. And I'm very happy about that progress. Um, this is where I started it and this is where I'm at now. Yeah, uh, the thing is, I use this all over my lip. Just, you know, like I outline it and I fill it in and then I use the Astor one and I basically have to shop in this every other day. So this is why this is going so fast, but it's a nice color and um, I'm kind of happy when it's gone because I'm not really a lip pencil person. But then again, I'm sad when it's gone because it's a nice color. Yeah, but progress. I'm so excited about this progress. Like the rest is not that good, but this I'm very excited about. Okay, speaking of not so good progress, this is my Meat Matte Nude palette and this is Matte Rosen. Um, this is where I'm at now. I don't know if you can see, but I actually cleared up this part here, basically. Yeah, I tried to do some lines in there and... Yeah, I mean, it's you don't really see the progress, do you? It's such... Honestly, it's such an ugly brown color. It's so ugly, but I just use some out of me and a bit into my crease, but that's it. So that will take forever, but never give up. Okay, and then another body lotion to put in this is the Jaipur, Jaipur by Boucheron. Oh, I forgot to mark that. Um, I'm here, I'm down here. This is where I started, this is where I'm at now. This is actually one of the very few scented body lotions that I can put on, on my freshly shaved legs without it hurting me. You know, normally when I put on just things and, um, you know, it hurts, but this actually is really soothing and it smells good. And yeah, I mean, next update, this will be gone for sure, but it's it's a nice body lotion. I had to put this lip gloss in. This is a mini lip gloss that I got from Candy. I will link that video somewhere here, if that's the white side. Um, this is the Essence. It's just a mini lip gloss. It was in a trio and... This is where I'm at now. I just today started, you know, I figured, well, just throw it in. And also, if you put this out, it's way more gone than it actually is. But, you know, that's normal. So, um, I just use this under my lip liner because um, the lip liner already dries out your lips. And the lip butter is a matte one, too. So, it's very drying. So, I just want to put something on and give the fact that I always forget lip balm. I just use this. It works the same way. Speaking of lip balm, I have my Be Natural lip balm and this is what it looks like. It's totally flat. Well, maybe not 100% not flat, but I'm working on this. The thing is, as soon as I get too close to the edge here, it's actually hurting my lips. Like, it's cutting in. So, very close to have this done. I, I, I'm very happy about it. I, I don't feel like it's actually doing something to my lips. Not really, not really excited about this, but it does the job for now. But as soon as my lips get too dry, I can't use this. Then I have an eyeshadow that I depotted and I don't have in a palette. This is Tribute by Rimmel and as you can see, I did clear up this side here. But it's such a beautiful color and um, I've had this for so long and I haven't used it. I don't know why. I mean, it's I have it on right now. I don't know if you can, if you can tell. Um, it's beautiful and yeah, I'm quite happy that I hit pan already. Never thought that would happen that quickly, but it did. Um, something else I'm very excited about is the Rival de Loupe Mono Rouge that I got from Candy as well. And look at this. Really, like, I hit pan. Such a beautiful color, but it doesn't really show on your skin, so you have to really build up and to swirl your all up, brush around. And it's okay, you know, it's fine, but I figured, well, I saw this when I got ready, and I figured, well, I just throw it into my project pen, because, I mean, that pen is already huge for blush, so... I'm very positive I can use that within a month. Yeah. But again, I won't take this on vacation with me, so I hope it's gone for that day. Something that is going well too is my Rimmel Say Matte Powder. Do you, do you see this? Do you see how much left? Yeah. Um, it actually broke off a few times, but this is still holding on, this part over here. Um, it's kind of hard to get it on my brush, because, you know, I have to, like, just get into the edge there. I use face powder every single day, so that is not the problem. I like this. I have like three or four more face powders that I will use. I only have three more items left. I can't believe this. So another eyeshadow. Okay, like, go figure. Um, this is the Cappuccino Please, I think. Yeah. 
by Essence. This is so old, but I had pen on this. Yay! I figured I've I've had this for such a long time, and I just want to use up. And also, you can see a little dip going on there, so I expanded the pen, and I'm very happy with this. I just used it on top of the tribute shadow. I know that I would use it up faster if I just used all of the eyelid, but let me let me finish my rimmer one first, and then I go with this one. But again, I hit pen, so that's something good, right? Then last, the second last item is my Manhattan Natural Bronzing Powder. Now, like it broke off. Um, I actually used this pot here that's um, out for a. Uh, I think it was a Maleficent tutorial that I never really put up, and I don't. I don't think I have that anymore. I don't, you can really see, but this here is flat, and the rest still holding on. It's a very nice bronzer. It has some glitter and shimmer to it, and it's beautiful to use. Um, be very light-handed with this. I'm just telling you, because uh, you look orange quite quickly, but it's beautiful. Uh, I won't use, I, I won't and I can't use this up within a month, but I had this forever too, so uh, I just want to get out of my collection. And then, last but not least, I have my Essence So Glow Cream to Powder highlighter. Still holding on. Can you believe this? I've said that a bazillion times, but can you believe this? Look at this, it's still there. <sighs> I've been using this every single day, even in my inner corner, not today, but normally I do, and it's still there. Like, wh what source is this? What? Again, I don't know if I will use this up within a month. I mean, the thing is, you will only see this product once a month, so you probably can't tell the difference, but I see this every single day and I don't really see it gone. You know, it's just, it's still there and still so much, hmm. Anyways, so that was my project pen update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video.